Wanting certainty, he thrust out his hand, receiving nothing. He looked down at the land, glancing up, his eyes chanced upon some newly leaved buds. In the quiet air, with barely a rustle, a bang, or a thud, his gaze turned inwards. Lifting sleeves with empty hands, the leaves fluttered translucent letters across the land and down his hands. The busy bees flitted by, and without a further preponderance, and barely a sigh, he opened the digital codex and transcribed with two long holes of both copy and paste. An organism is a message to future generations that specifies how to survive and reproduce. His progeny, both alive and dead, were both here and there as the impermanency and denseness of it all spun marbles inside his head. The words formed and escaped and said as the dirty horror of nature permeated the air with lilacs in formation of sand. Sidetracked, the marbles collided. Impermanency became temporal and the denseness loosened into all that occurs between the milliseconds infinitesimal. Matching meters to yards and words to shards he realized with a start. The pause, the pause, the pause without cause and bare and a priori. Not batting the bees, a lesson learned a posteriori. He sat down with the story unfolding within and without him. A story about beginnings and endings of snaps, curves, and bendings, and waited. Inner clarity illuminates all things, said Patotep, stepping down off a dusty shelf. Let that which you speak implant true and just things in the lives of your children. The period, the ellipses, my children, find both and guide your way with these words.